Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. This time around we are going to go as... Who are we going to go as? I don't know. Someone that's going to be fun and easy. <laughs> um, let's have a little look see at our, our tainted characters. Oh, so many people that like we need to do a lot as that are sketchy as all anything let's let's do i think like i think tainted eden is horrible but kind of fun he's uh he's got some some jank to him but it's not all bad Ooh, we get a, a verp the verp the verp the verp which is pretty good probably not the best usage of that you've ever seen in your life but there you go um but yeah i'm gonna say kind of an odd character kind of an annoying one but can be kind of intriguing Ooh, hello a tasty nickel a tasty nickel I will take it. I will take it. Is this an XL floor? No, it's just a lot of big rooms is all. It's just a lot of big rooms. You boys are going to be rather annoying by the looks of things. Ah, oh, bugger. Ah, oh, we got the goddamn rickety thingy where you get knocked back on your own tears. It's a pain in the ass. Okay. We get singed stones, which is still just confusing to me, but the item itself doesn't really matter at this point because it's going to get rerolled. But yeah, the minute we have our own knockback built into uh, our shots, which is rather frustrating, probably shouldn't have re-rolled all of those, considering a lot of the uh, a lot of the room with explosive barrels that I could have used to my advantage. But it is done now. Tomorrow, the room pretty much took care of itself there, so I'm not going to be too upset. Yeah, good thing is about this rickety thing, the uh, knockback. We do have uh, good damage for now. The Cinch Stone seems to be doing some good damage here and there as well, which is nice. If y'all want to stop moving, big boy. I would be down with that. Good, good, good. Ayo. Okay, good stuff. We don't really matter. Like, it doesn't really matter which way we want to go here. We're just kind of heading in one direction, seeing where it leads. For the question of the day today, um... But da 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 What's something that you would you, that you would freely admit online, like in in comment sections in in this comment section or to people online, but you wouldn't admit to people in real life, or you wouldn't talk? It doesn't need to be admit, but something that you don't talk about freely in the open. My biggest thing, and I, I spoke about it before on the channel, is that I wouldn't exactly say that I hide it, but I very rarely talk about the fact that I'm I I, I really I really enjoy ASMR. I think ASMR is very useful. Um, it helps me sleep. Uh, but People, like, online seem to be way more understanding and and know what it is than people that, <laughs> that aren't. And it's just, yeah, it can get into some weird circumstances because a lot of people think it's sexual. And so a lot of people judge you weirdly when they hear that you watch ASMR because they know very, very little about it. And, I mean, people online do that as well. It's just not as common. Um, what's that devil deal chance there, unfortunately? Um, so that's that's probably my thing that I, I tend to I talk, I'm fine to talk about freely online, but I very rarely talk about in person because yeah, just depending on the people, it's not always, but depending on the people, it can it can sometimes be a little bit of an awkward situation, especially like the the slightly old generation because they've they've heard of it but they don't know what it is. Makes it harder. Good sun card here is rather nice. In fact, Sun Card can help us out quite a bit here. I've just realized. So, we're going to go in here. Wasn't what I was hoping for. Oh, it re-rolled my Sun Card. Okay, this none of this works now. God damn it. What the hell's this? That, that, that all got ruined because I lost the Sun Card. <laughs> Okay, I can still go in here, though. Yeah, give give me HP as well, so I will. I was planning on going in here, then using the sun card in here. Okay. Good to go. And item room, what do y'all hold for me? Snake is doing a good job. Ooh, hello. Bit of Solar Bethany. Buttermilk, I don't particularly like, but um, it won't be around for long, so don't fret. Don't worry. Right. Take on our boss. See what we can get done. Nice bit of HP there. Lovely. Yeah, I think ASMR is one of those things that 
Not enough people have tried. Some people have, have tried it and immediately are just a big no. And I, I do get that. Like, especially with certain... Like, there's, there's a lot of different types of ASMR and some of it is a bit much. Like, people that are, like, nibbling on your ears or... The, the, those ones can be a bit, like, weird. I, I, like, I tend to not really like those ones either. And th there's definitely, like... A weirder side to ASMR. It really, it really just means that there's more variety for people to find what they want. Uh, but some people like that sort of stuff, um, and like like people like he br breathing heavily and whispering like really close to your ear. But I I'm more about the ones that are just like sounds, like tapping on things or like scratching stuff, or like just just satisfying sounds. Like one of the ones I really like is like folding um, fabric, like. Uh, there was, it's literally just a video of a dude folding towels, and I fucking loved it. It was amazing. It just helps me sleep. And then, um, yeah, like, general, like, relaxation ones where it's, like, not not exactly guided meditations, but, like, similar to that, where it's someone, like, sort of soft-spoken talking you through something. But them ones can be quite nice as well. Lovely. Um, but, yeah, such a wide variety to it. And I think I've, I've been, like, into it for such a long time now as well that I've kind of... It's been all, a lot of it, almost all of it, is very, very normalized to me now. Because I, I found out about ASMR officially in about 2013, I think it was. Um, I, I, I knew of the feeling, I'd felt the feeling of, like, the tingle feeling, we call it, before that. I knew sort of what that feeling was when someone was, like, had a relaxing voice and it, it, it just felt nice to listen to and it was very relaxing. But I would never really knew that there was, t there was a term for it or, like, specific ways to trigger it sort of thing. Um, it was only after watching a few different TV shows that, that, that ended up speaking about it. It was, like, game shows and stuff that ended up bringing it up. That I was like, oh, shit, that's, that's the thing that I feel. <laughs> uh, and then I ended up Googling it. And that was still even on, on YouTube. That was still the very early days of ASMR on YouTube. There was, there was a decent amount of it out there to, to, to watch. There was a decent amount of it out there, but um, it was still like a, a relatively sort of hidden corner of of, uh, of YouTube at that time. I feel like now it's incredibly widespread, where even though like not everyone listens to it, most people know what it is. Right. Anything in here for us? Two chests isn't really worth my time, I don't think. Good, I need, definitely need a fire rate increase at some point, because with triple shot, our fire rate right now is not particularly good. Ooh, hello. That's very nice, I will say. That's very nice indeed. Good thing is that damage cannot be removed from us either, so... Even when we reroll, we'll keep that damage, I believe. Good, good. Snake's doing a good job as well. There's tier rate as well. This is some good stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty big tier rate boost, to be honest. Right. Let's get on with it. Look at the damage we're doing right now. Oh my god. It is beautiful. Uh, we're going to go Angel Deal, I think. Because I'm pretty uh, pretty confident if we get a bad reroll and we have low HP, things ain't going to go well for us. Could spiral pretty quickly. We don't know how long we're going to stick on this reroll for right now. So I think we ought to play it safe and um, just hold off for an Angel Deal if we can. We've got a little wisp here that's firing brimstones, which is rather nice. Not quite sure what wisp that's from, to be honest. Friend Finder's doing a good job at the minute. I'll say that. Look at that. Beautiful damage. What is left? Okay, there you go. Got a soul heart out of this room. Yes, please. Got one of these Stargazer boys. Ah, do you know what? I'll give him 7 cent. He might give me something good. You never know. Yera? Could find a use for it eventually. We'll see. 
sadly the wrong way already. But yeah, um, it, it's just one of those things. Is it, it's now at this point become a fairly big part of my life in terms of just like what I do. Like I don't use it super often. It's not like something I use every day. But whenever I'm feeling stressed or whenever like I need to get to sleep for something really badly, uh, or if I'm just having trouble sleeping, I put it on. So it's normally like once or twice a week. Um, and it helps a lot. And I've got a lot of different like places that I go for it and a lot of different people I watch. My items here ain't bad. Not bad at all. Sadly, no more triple shot, though. We've got good damage at the minute, because we've got a uh, heal spur. Heal spur is insane for damage, so that's good. And we've got another pretty useless item here, but useless items aren't useless, because they're going to get re-rolled. They're useless for now, but not forever. We do have a Holy Mantle this time around, which protects this build a little longer. Nope. I say that, and it's gone. And this build we got is not very good either. Oh, we got Dr. Fetus here. And Host Hat. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'd like to keep this one for a while, but we'll see. These goddamn boxes out the way. I did not want to fire that. Another item is good stuff. Tears up is very nice. Cool, and boss, you are ready to go. Nicey nice. Foul gut, it's good stuff. Gives us some more HP. Down we go. The rotten flies should help a lot with keeping this build alive. I see you, boy. I see you. Yeah, this is this is good. I like this. Oh my god, there was pretty much nothing I could do if that came any closer to me. There, that was pretty much just stuck in it. But yeah, rotten rotten hearts are doing a real good job right now, of helping us. I like that ton. Just keep it moving there. Ooh, secret room. Wasn't expecting it, but happy for it. Shot speed. We did also get here a trinket that allows us to use our bombs as keys, which is very, very nice. Pop that. Another pretty useless item there, but as I said, it'll reroll into better stuff. Ah, it's gone. It was not to be. Burp to tears up. I like that. Burping a tears up is a very nice, it's a reasonably good build, especially now we've got 9 inch nails or the 8 inch nails, whatever it is, it's probably not going to stick around for long. We have piercing as well with this build, too. Lust, I don't think we'll need that. Red poop to regular poop. That's such a niche trinket. Can't imagine how often that's going to be useful. Because one of those ones where it feels like you only keep it until you find something better than trade it away immediately. But red poops are so, so rare in the early game that, like, yeah, it just seems super unlikely that you're going to get to, like, the womb where red poops start to become more prevalent and not have a trinket you want to keep more than that.
bit of a weird one. We've got so much money right now as well. Okay, good. This could be secret room as well. That it is. Nothing crazy. Right. Crack the sky, kill the boss instantly for me, why don't you? Yeah, baby. That's what I like to see. Um. So this would be a change between a passive. Yeah, let's take this. We'll take this. I know it'll keep switching between pass uh, angel passes, but I can't remember if it keeps the quality or not. But that's that's decent enough. I like that. Ooh, we got a, a rune rock here. These are new. Oh, that's cool. I said those are new to me. Indeed they are. Right, let's keep it moving. I'm gonna say I unlocked those uh, recently for doing a mammon run, I think it was. Some locusts to help us out, why not? I don't know how often I'm going to use Crack the Sky here, but I'll try and use it a little more often than I normally do. I mean, it proved there to be pretty valuable, right? <sighs> Crane game, I will play. Um, I don't know, it's got a deck of cards in it though. It's not that worthwhile right now. Maybe we'll check my shop first. <sighs> Bad hit. we got Furton though here. Get away from me, boy. Right, yeah, this run isn't quite as, as beefy as that last one was, but Furton's still pretty useful. Black hole here is kind of nice. What did our angel item become? I'm guessing Furton is our angel item, right? I never remember if Furton's in the angel deal or not. I think it is. Aha! Walking paths along the uh, the gap here. That's kind of cool. Oh, I just walked into the spikes. I kept thinking I had flight. Now I've got Hemolacria. Okay, this is a good one. 2020 Hemolacria Lodestone. I can get a lot of HP on this on this one because of this uh, angel item I've got. Donor card does not is not super good for us. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on rolling just to get these, and I'll buy that. Why not? Lego stud. Lego stud. There you go. I think that went pretty well. Oh, wait, what? There's a there's a rock here now. Why? Get that skull out of the way. There you go. A little annoying. Okay, I think that was pretty good. We used this uh, item and while we have it, because we never know when we're going to get hit, to turn all of the um, red hearts into uh, the red heart soul heart blends, buy a bunch of soul hearts up, get the most benefit out of it we possibly can before it disappears. So even if we lose this one quickly, a very good reroll. Take, take two here. Little bit extra damage for us. Oh, this was mum. I didn't, I didn't expect that, but hey, her. It's fine by me, I guess. Ah, oh, rerolled again. All sorts of shenanigans went down there. Right, we'll take that. We are well, well in time for boss rush. We got a revelation as well, which is pretty nice. That's not what I meant to do, obviously. Oh, I've got remote detonator. I was like, why didn't the bomb explode? That's what. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to reroll this pretty soon because we've got the um, compound fracture with the 
buttermilk, so we've got like a trail of crap coming out of our butt that is making it lag like crazy, so we we'll definitely have to reroll that. As much as I like Revelation. I don't think it's sticking around. Right, boss rush time. Get it. Uh, I'll take this, I think. Doesn't really matter. I'm, I, I'm probably going to reroll myself, actually, intentionally. Because otherwise this room's just annoying. I think I've got Cast Eye at the minute. Yeah, I do. Okay. Intentionally bomb myself. Cast Eye would literally teleport us out of the room, and I do not want that to happen, so... That pause does nothing for us. This damage is pretty damn tasty. We got some sort of herming going on. What's the herming from? I genuinely can't tell. Is it just from marked? I don't know. No, it's not marked, is it? I don't know what it is. Chubb is jumping all over the damn place. We got him, though. We got him. This is a good setup, and we've got a uh, Mask of Infamy for blocking damage as well, so that's nice. I'm really curious as what's giving us Herming on occasion here. But you need to go before you be yeah, do your bullshit attacks. Oh, you dive right into some spike rocks. Aren't you a peach? If all of our tears hit, we do crazy good damage with the setup. Oh, it's the it's the rag boys. The rag fellas. Like, goddamn. Oh, I walked into the goddamn creep moron. This damage is still good, but goddamn, that was very, very silly. You can I expect pinking she is here? I don't know if the pinking shears body will stick around if I if I get re-rolled or not. I'm unsure. I'm using my uh, Spear of Destiny here to try and get some extra damage while also potentially being okay with a re-roll if it happens, it happens sort of thing. Yeah. Book of Revelations here. Oh my god. Almost stepped on the spikes behind me as well. We got Do Not Touch first. We've got some good stuff in here. One of these empty hearts. Die, beast boy. Yeah, doing good. Oh, I oh, didn't have enough speed to get out of the way of him. Dude, why does it keep giving me buttermilk? I don't goddamn want buttermilk. It just keeps throwing it at me. This is insane. There's so many various different types of tears we're throwing around here. They're all doing relatively fuck all damage. Okay. Good, good, good. Now we've got Blastasis here. Oh, I didn't see you, whoever you were. Crown of Light, unfortunately, obviously isn't active. We do have Molding Clay right now, though, which is always a good one. We could take advantage of that before uh, we get re-rolled if we manage to keep this till the end of the uh, end of this, but don't know how likely that is to happen, so we'll see. We shall see. That's a big boy. Where did you come from? I've got this little thrower boy that's just chilling. I don't know where he came from. Oh, we did get it as well. So we can go boom. And it just means we can get an extra passive there. Yeah, I got this little thrower lad that's just like chilling. I don't really know where he came from or what his intentions are, but he's cute. So we'll, we'll keep him around.
Ah, bugger. Got re-rolled again. For far too long I've been re-rolled again. And again. I keep like stepping on creep. That's been my main downfall at the moment. Let's get that key back there. Get that key first. I'm losing a lot of health and obviously re-rolling a lot. D dude, Buttermilk's back again. What's going on with Buttermilk? Why what's the obsession game? Because I really don't want it. Just for anything special. Um, I'm going to let these guys hit me so I can get rid of my Rotten Hearts. A reroll is also not a bad idea. Okay, unfortunately wrong way here. We do have a forget me now, but I just, what's the point unless we get a devil deal this floor or angel deal? Like forget me now doesn't do anything for us yet. Do we have emergy glasses? We do have emergy glasses here. Scared the emojis out of me. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Oh, we have spirit. I was like, why aren't I firing? I was holding down fire, but we have spirit sword, so... Makes a little more sense. Okay, we're all out of rotten hearts now, which is good. Because they were causing us issues. Nice. Synth oil's nice. Um, confused about what happened there. What the? I'm so confused about what happened there. I'm happy for it. I got synth oil, then two HP ups, and I don't know why. <laughs> I think I had the bag of trash, and it broke and gave me. I, I I'm still confused. Tractor beam. I'd like. Oh my god. I would like, and I would get. I'd also like that too. Oh. Not quite as good on that front. Right, extra keys, good, good. I want to do, I do want to try and do hush here, but it's going to be a little scary with all the, the various items we got going on here. The minute I'm in the mindset of just beeline as much as we can. Oh, dude, uh, spirit sword, um, as well as. Um, the Forgotten and Bag of Crafting and stuff have all had a fix from a mod that I'm using now. Uh, so it means their range actually is calculated correctly and it creates a bigger swipe rather than a swipe that's just further away from you. Which is rather nice. Beautiful. Hushy, hushy, hushy. Holy light, thank you. Could have taken them both there if I'd have done the, the angel kill first. What's this little rock do? All stats up prevents stats from being increased while held. Relic, I guess. Okay, I think we just go. I knew it was going to happen. What on earth is... Th what are my tears here? Someone explain. I'm very confused. I have just a red circle of emojis, I think that is. That's just a, a, a hellish circle of emojis. I have tiny planet, soy mill, planetoid. Oh my god, there's so much going on there. Okay, it's over, it's over. I'm unsure what's happening now. Let's have this 
weird circle of crocodiles. I didn't mean to get hit there, goddamn. Am I bleeding now as well? Fuck you, game. Oh, I've got Tech X. Okay, that took some doing. Can I, can I get rid of this circle of crocodiles? Can I also stop bleeding as well? That feels unfair. I'm not going to pick up a red heart throughout this entire fight, so... Bleeding doesn't seem ideal. I don't think it's going to take a while. Oh god, it's because that damage is 3.62. God damn. Who turned off the damage tap? Oh, Lost Soul. I didn't even know you existed. Goodbye, my friend. Okay, that, that didn't re-roll us, but... We are just going to keep bleeding throughout this entire fight. I'd like to re-roll as well, because this is, like, bad. Oh, no, there's health, there's health. Oh, we stopped bleeding. Okay, good. I mean, we should have re-rolled then, took the healing. I don't know. We'll work it out as we go. This, this, this circle of friends just... Will never disappear. You cards popping out there, it's nice. Now they're circling him. <laughs> Look at this. It's craziness. Oh dude, we've done like no damage to this guy. But Tech X this is pathetic. It is a sadness. Hoping for more cards from killing these dudes. I, I can't believe we still got these dudes circling around us. They just last forever. I don't even know if they're dealing damage to him at this point. I'm keeping them on top of him just in case they do, but I'm not convinced. Right. Slow fight. Very slow fight. We'll get in there. Oh, more cards. More cards. Oh, we re-rolled. We have a lot more damage now. Like, a lot more damage. I think we've got heal spare. Yeah, we do. Oh, we have eternal bombs as well. Extra damage to bosses. How is that bomb not detonated yet? There is some insane stuff going on right now. Dude, yeah, those bombs do crazy good damage. No, I don't want to get hit there. Our damage is five now. We do have revelations though. What's going on with this guy right now? He's just chilling underground. He seems to have retreated. Holy light, that's good. Decent stuff here. Keep using revelation, that's when we can. These shots are still doing their thing. They're no longer crocodiles, but they're still swarming. The crocodiles swarm. Nothing think I've ever heard. The description of crocodiles is a swarm of crocodiles. Although you see those pictures of them where there's like a thousand of them all laying on the same bank at once. So they're clearly friendly with each other, at least. But I don't think they hunt in packs. Look how long it takes Revelation to charge up. That's how, that's how bad the frame rate is right now. I was like, we seem to have a slowing effect. We have sensor this time around, that's why. Come on now, boy. Stop going underground and die. For the people. For me. You know you want to. Oh, get up out the ground, you big oaf. Been under there for like 10 seconds already. There you go. Okay. Shouldn't be too much longer now, I wouldn't think. Taking him over, he's he's evil now. I think he takes double damage while he's enraged. 
but why not? Come on, Revelation. Do your magic. Oh my god, this is so slow. It's so unbearably slow. Okay, good. We got him. Just about. We got him. Soul of Eden. Right. Quickly just check. Do we have any hearts? We do. Good. Okay. Good to go. That was tricky. Pizza time. We have papyrus rags here doing some good stuff. We have camo undies doing some good stuff. Uh, I'm just going to walk into an enemy. Hero font. Oh. That makes me happy. Make a mistake, get hit, and it's like, no, no, don't worry about it. We got you back. We got Dude, buttermilk again! What the fuck's going on with buttermilk? It just keeps showing up. It won't leave me alone. I don't want buttermilk. I'm just racing through the rooms at this point. Why not? Every fucking room's the wrong fucking way, though. God damn. All of this, wrong way. I don't... I don't want buttermilk. Not again. Getting sick of seeing buttermilk. Ooh, we have Holy Mantle this time around. So this is a good run, which... 31 damage, it very much is a good run. Um, there's a good good chance we can keep this one for a little longer. Good stuff. Yeah, we can keep this one a little longer because Holy Mantle will allow us to take an extra hit per room. Just get. Oh, what? I've got a spike immunity? Fuck. I must do, because. I was able to just get through that straight away without taking any damage. Oh, I got Holy Mantle there. Don't quite know by what. Okay, here we go. I like the way that my. Um, my pinking Shea's body has the holy mantle on it. <laughs> okay, nice. Magic pen. <gasps> Curved horn. Huzzah. Plus four damage, baby. Right. Let's hope we can just keep this build for the rest of it. We've got Mega Satan to do, of course, as well here. Unfortunately, these were... Very trash. <laughs> Dude. Dying off screen. A coward's wear. Right, what was that card? Lovers. This one's an item from the current room's pool, 10 and 1 heart. Um, yeah, that seems good. We'll uh, try and find the secret room before we do anything with that, though. I just dropped um, Kev Torn by accident. My bad. Get my curved horn back. Ooh, that's also very good. Let's, let's just quickly... Um, Put that in there. So I think skip allows us to skip the full first phase. Good. 
Aha! Killed him a bit early. Can't normally do that. Dude, this damage is so good. What is that boss at? I really hope we don't lose this setup, because this is going to be super sucky if we lose this before we get to do uh, Mega Certain. It's just so goddamn good. Is that not the room? What's left? Ah, there's another ghosty boy. I see ya, I see ya. Punching bag. Join the crew. Laser beam boys doing their thing. We're immune to creep as well, apparently. We've got some, some good immunity going here. I don't know what it's from, but I like it. More HP there's good. Ah. Stop right there. We've also got that uh, butterfly item, which is giving us uh, these herming shots every now and again, which is pretty damn useful. I do like herming. It's not every shot, but a good amount of them are herming. Good. Ah, not many chests though. I mean, we've only got like just under two luck. So, I'm not doing great for luck. Still, I'd like to see a few more chests here and there. Not many red hearts either. Oh, there you go. Got one right there as I said it. Burp. Infested. No, thank you. Okay, this could be bad. Not much I can do to avoid these guys. I'll just keep firing, hope it knocks them away, hope for the best. Seem to be doing a good job of it so far, but there's no saying if I'll get through this room without losing. I lost my holy mantle already. That was a button I wish I hadn't have stepped on, I'll be honest. <laughs> but we got through it, that was... Bit gross. We've got Beelzebub here for flight. Nice. Cootie's pretty decent as well. Don't mind that. Is this another lovers? Or is this the one from before? I think this is the one from before. I think it just moved because of a curse. Yeah, curse of the maze. It just moved. Secret room here, maybe? Ooh, we got error slots. Um, one minute. So, someone did, I'm, I'm sure to go quickly check something. Someone did tell me there's a specific item that's really easy to go for on the error slots. So I'm going to go and check what it was. So it was in the comment section of the video why I got Hello. this item last. So I apologize if you can hear my voice in the background, but I have to check. Which one was it? Which room was it? It was like a week ago. There it is. Right. Someone put it in the comment section. Um, go for C section, which is six, seven, eight, or magic mush, which is zero, one, two. So six, seven, eight is what we want to go for. He said basically you get the first number. So you you basically wait and you go. See. Now this person, this person knows their shit. <laughs> This person knows their shit. <laughs> now obviously we might not end up keeping it for long, but you 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 person out there, let's let's actually give them a specific shout out. That was Ninja4811. Beautiful. Even though I haven't replied to your comment yet, I've not replied to comments for like two weeks at this point. I I, I feel bad. I need to get back to it. But I do still read them all, do not worry. I like the way that the compound fracture has made all the um the babies into Bernie babies. The lag from the compound fracture is uh egregious. To say the least.
There you go. That's that done. Magic marker. And let's head all the way back. And we'll see, we'll read our skip card to make sure it works where I think it does, but I think I'm right about this. Dude, I can't believe I've got a C-section there, that's, that's awesome. Right, clears the room of every grid, pick up an enemy. Room clears using skip, if you know, activate them. Can also skip boss rooms at the cost of an item. Can be used against final bosses to skip phases, excluding the final phase. So basically, I should be able to just go in here and pop this straight away. Yeah, that just didn't work. <laughs> Lies. Complete boulder dash. Wait, do I have Isaac's heart? I do. I've been getting on this whole time. And I have Isaac's heart. So yeah, this room's probably not going to last long. Okay. Hope we can kill him quickly. Somewhat quickly. Hope you're not a problem. It's just the lag that's the problem now. Not much we can do about the lag. Okay, let's move up here before we accidentally get hurt on our uh, Isaac's heart straight away. It's halfway dead. I'm super annoyed that skip card just didn't work at all. Good, good. <laughs> the damage of this. Boy, someone is a genius. He's asleep right now. The knockback from the Maria Trophy <laughs> is getting a bit out of hand. Okay, second phase. Go, my babies, go. Right, just keep the heart behind us at all times, and this is actually an easy win. Because we don't need to aim at him. We got Herming. We just need to protect our heart, but our body is a blocker. You can see how quickly he's dying. And in like five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, boom. Beautiful stuff. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.